once again, I am done with the dentist. I feel like my upper lip is sticking like way up here because I am completely numb. And I can't really talk because that lip's numb. And I keep wanting to make, and it keeps wanting to make really weird noises when I talk. So, but anyways, had feelings done put in and we are got another visit. Whoa, that actually moved way out of the way there. We have another visit on I think Halloween. We got another visit. We'll have to do like one more at the very back here. Well, that guy almost pulled out right in front of that vehicle and caused a big accident. Sometimes I wish I actually put a dash cam in my vehicle because you see some really bad drivers and it feels so weird to talk right now because I cannot move my upper lip and I kind of feel like Fire Marshal Bill going, let me show you something. <laughs> don't know who Fire Marshal Bill is, you need to watch him live in color. It is a character that Jim Carrey did on that show. The show started by the Wayans Brothers. It's on... I can't remember what the channel was on. But anyways, this point was over, went good, no problems. Tell you more about it tonight, it's how, how or if I'm sore or not. I discovered one problem, I cannot talk, oh dear God. I discovered one problem right now that is driving me nuts. I am itching right here. I cannot scratch it. I cannot feel this, but it is itching. It is driving me nuts. <laughs> oh gosh, I just, all I want to do is just scratch that. Well, I am scratching the spot, but I can't feel it. Oh gosh. It will. Oh, yeah. Dentist means itchy nose that you cannot scratch. <laughs> Update on the dentist visit. Um, nothing hurts. The only thing is my jaw is a little sore and that's mainly because I've just had so many visits really close together and I've had to hold my mouth open for so long. And also I feel like I've eaten a bag of salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> um, you know how like when you eat them it's like your mouth is really dry or it kind of feels really dry like running your gum? That's the way I feel right now. It's a uh, it's just basically it's where they put that um, numbing agent. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Novocaine or something. I, can't, I don't know. That's probably not right. <laughs> but they put that around your gums so they can inject you with the needle. That's a little sore right there. I think that's where they poked them with the, they they put the stuff in. you basically to, to numb you to the drilling. But. Actually, I didn't know it was sore until I actually poked it. And it's not sore unless I poke it. It's like the old joke. Uh, guy goes into a doctor and says, Hey, Doc, it, it hurts when I do this. And the doc tells him, Just don't do that. <laughs> but, um, uh, but anyways, yes. Um, everything went good. No issues. Just that weird feeling in my mouth where they use the, like I said, like that stuff. But, so far, feeling really good. Update on my Teddy Ruxpin project. Um, I've gotten it pretty much working. I haven't tried it with Grubby yet, like I said. Um, but Teddy Ru not my Teddy Ruxpin that I have, uh, the, can't remember which it is, the lower lid, because uh, the Teddy Ruxpin, he has two, like his upper lid and he has a lower lid on his eyes that cl open and close. Well, his, lower lid I think it's his lower lid or maybe it's one of the, I can't remember it's something that one of the, it's either one of his eyes or something doesn't close and that's annoying me and I've looked online but the only way to fix it is to actually take the tetris apart like pull the stitching out of the back of it and take the um, fur off of it and go in and do all that I'm like 
I'm not doing all that. I'm just going to live with the, <laughs> the eye not uh, closing properly. But that's right. That's really much. That's pretty much the only really annoying thing about it. So, but I've actually seen online some people said to manually move the eye, and sometimes it'll like it's actually just stuck and it'll break it free. I've done that a few times. Um, it hasn't helped it still. But it, well, at first, both the eyes were doing that, and I actually moved one of them, and it started working. So I was hoping that this other one would work, but it doesn't. Um, I've tried Grubby with the cassettes. Grubby works fine. He's that's that's great. Both his eyes work. His mouth works. It's just it takes like for both of them, it's like eight C batteries. And I'm like, holy cow! And they they die pretty quick, especially if you have them both plugged up. But overall, I really enjoy it. I'm not gonna project. I'm I'm kind of just working on it here and there. It's kind of going slow. I put them back up here when I'm done because I don't want Adrian to get to them right now because they are uh, like when they were new they weren't uh, extremely durable because my brother he broke the lower jaw off his when we were like we were little kids and I don't want anything to happen to them so I'm kind of keeping them out of Adrian's reach for now when he gets a little bit older I'll let it, well, we can let him play with them and stuff. Like right now, I'm just going to kind of, hopefully, hopefully he won't be afraid of them because they're part of my childhood and part of my wife's childhood and we really like them. Adrian absolutely loves the game um, Guitar Man. If you've never um, played it before, it's a rhythm game. You are a little boy who gets... Uh, that he's found that he's the last Kitaru and he has like superpowers. He goes into space and you got to feed, help save this planet. It's a really good game with really good music. And today I was playing on my PSP. I have the, the, the good Guitar Man Lives. I have also have it on the PS2, the good original Guitar Man. Uh, the, the one on the PS2 is better because it has the, the Flying to Your Heart song. It's the second song in the game. The PS2 version has the Japanese version, and the PSP version has the English version. The English version is not as, is not as good. But, but anyways. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I was playing it, and like Adrian was, uh, was playing with his cars and everything. And he heard, he heard it, he walked over, sat in my lap, and watched me play it. And I was like, wow. But I didn't play it long. I didn't want him to like just watch it for long periods of time. But I played probably two or three songs, and um, he was like, "Wow!" He just sat there, and he still sits on his fingers. So he sat there the entire time, like, <laughs> kind of cute. But oh, we tried his um, Scooby Doo costume on today, and it's like a two to three. No. 3T to 4T or 2 to 4T something like that size and the only thing it's not going to fit him wise is just the leg length they're a little long but they have elastic around the um, ankle of it so that you can push it up some anything else he would be too big for it so we're like yeah he's going to be able to wear it for Halloween and that's about I mean a few more months he'll probably grow out of it just because his torso and everything is just so long but it looked really cute on him. Uh, we'll, I'll, po I'll post some pictures of it uh, on Halloween. Hopefully I'll be dressed up as Shaggy. And I think I might have convinced my wife to dress up as Velma. Adrian did something funny today. Uh, normally, okay, let's start at the beginning. Uh, I was reading Master the Turn Table on my iPad because I have a bunch of the, the comics on my iPad. And um, he noticed I was reading something, so he walked over and looked at it and saw that it was had pictures, like kind of like one of his books. So he's sat in my lap and everything. And when he brings me a book, he wants me to read it. He'll pat on it. So he's patted on my iPad, like he wanted me to read it to him. And I was like, okay. So I read, like it was the one of the bundles of trouble. I probably read two or three of the stories to him. And I understand he doesn't know what I'm saying. <laughs> most of the time because a lot of words in them are like um, 
like if you're a gamer, you understand what the contexts are. But he laid there and he liked it. Just, he, I mean, he liked it just because I was reading to him. And I do believe you should read to your kids, no matter what it is. Read to them. If you read comic books to them, great. Just as long as if, as long as they'll as uh, that. I'm not even sure what's called, but just the heavy bit one being with you, two them hearing your voice and you're sharing something together. To me, that's really good. Also, there's the benefit of them of the reading. It's another thing that's really good for them. But um, it's really uh, funny, I thought, because I'm sitting here reading a nice dinner table, which is a uh, um, like the, well, I'm trying to remember what the what one I was reading to them. They, um, oh, what was it? They go into this labyrinth or this maze that was created by a, no, the Gauntlet of Death or something. I can't remember what it's called. It's in the Bundle of Tur Trouble 3, I believe. And it, it's where, um, Bob, there's a, like a hole in the wall and Bob looks through it. He sees there's a, a ruby so he sticks his arm through to try to grab it but he doesn't check for traps so a blade comes down and cuts off his arm and I'm sitting here reading this to my son <laughs> and I'm sitting here like I'm thinking should I be reading this to him but I know he doesn't understand what it is yet but that's kind of funny I know when I was, when he was really little I mean this is like when he was a few weeks old I was reading um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy to him and I stopped reading that to him because I was like, a lot of the words in here are hard to pronounce. And like, cause reading it to yourself, you don't think, oh, this is hard to pronounce. But reading it out loud, yeah, it is really, and the flow of it, it's kind of odd. So it's very, it's, it is a, diff, a very difficult book to read out loud. But I do want to read that to him uh, when he's a little, little bit older and he can kind of understand the sci-fi references in it and everything. But till then, I'm probably I'm gonna be probably stuck to his uh, uh, board books. Though they're not, I don't mean bored as in I'm bored reading them, like the thick ones that you have to that so that they don't destroy them. I think they actually do. I think they are card called board books. But yes, read two kids. Mm -hmm.